What's going on guys, it's Frager here again, and I'm about to attempt the most ambitious project I've ever done in Minecraft. That's right, today I'm attempting to build the map Kaleidoscope from Battlefield 2042 in Minecraft. Not only is this going to be the biggest video game map I've ever tried to recreate in Minecraft, but this map is also from a game that hasn't even been released yet. Which means that all I have to use for reference is two screenshots on Google and the reveal trailer. Because unfortunately this map was not shown off in the gameplay trailer. Now because of the limited resources I have to reference for this map build, that means that this build is not going to be completely accurate. I have very little to go off for the scale of this map, so I can almost guarantee that the scale is going to be off by a little bit. And I've also pretty much already given up on trying to get all of the small little details from this map into Minecraft, because there's no possible way for me to see all of the fine little details in the two screenshots and the reveal trailer that I'm using as a reference. So if you are looking for a one-to-one -one exact replica, this is not going to be it. Additionally, I can almost guarantee that there are going to be parts of this map that are completely wrong, because I can't see the entire map in the few resources that I have. But anyway, if you do end up enjoying this video and you want to see more, then make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And if you guys want to interact with me or my community outside of YouTube, then make sure to join my Discord server link down in the description. But with that being said, let's get right into this map build. So I decided to start this build off by making the roadways first. Because the city is on a grid pattern, so I figured that it would be easiest just to build the roadways first, and then fill everything else in later. Now unfortunately, these roadways are where I started to get the scale wrong, because I didn't realize at first that these roads are actually 6 lanes, so the ones that I built were actually 4 lanes instead. So because of that, I think I ended up getting this map pretty accurate to a half scale, or maybe even a 3 quarter scale. But regardless of that, I still think it turned out fine, and I'm very happy with the end results. I also was not able to get all of the roadways for this map built in, because the main focus of the screenshots and the reveal trailer is the central park area, which means I have no idea what the roadways look like on the rest of the map. So unfortunately because of that, I was only able to get the roadways right next to this park area built. And speaking of this park area, that's what I'm working on next, so let's go check that out. So one of the things that I noticed about this park area is that the pathways are very organic. They're sort of twisting and winding through the greenery. And as some of you may not know, organic shapes are very difficult to recreate in Minecraft. And so because of that, I was not completely happy with how these pathways turned out. I got them to a point where they were pretty much just good enough and that was it. Because at the beginning, I was just messing around with them way too much, so I told myself that I had to get them good enough and then just move on. It was also very difficult to see all of the different pathways in this park area, and so because of that, I'm almost positive that I missed a bunch of them. Anyway, another thing that I noticed about this park area is that there's a lot of these what I'm assuming are art displays. And these were also very difficult to recreate in Minecraft. Especially this central piece, which I'm not exactly sure what it is, I don't even know if it's supposed to be an art display or not. But whatever it is, it's a very abstract shape, and abstract shapes are another thing that don't really work well in Minecraft. So I hated almost every single second of building this thing, and it still looks terrible. But at least it's there, even if that's the only thing I can say about it. Now moving on to this waterway, I did have to use world edit for this one, which I did use a ton of world edit in this build, and it came in very handy especially for building the skyscrapers later on. But for this waterway, I used it to clear out the land and then smooth out the bottom. But I did have to be a little bit careful with the smoothing brush because if you get it too close to some of the other parts like the pathway, it can kind of mess that up. And then this waterway sort of extends off into this other part of the park. And I know I didn't add any trees to this part, but don't worry, I'll get to that later on. So for those of you who are going down to the comment section right now yelling at me for not including the trees, don't worry, I'll get to those later on. But once this is done, it's time to move on to building up the skyscrapers.
So for these skyscrapers, like I said before, I used a ton of world edit to make them. In fact, they're almost all made using entirely world edit. And that's because world edit has this very useful command called stack. And what it allows you to do is just take the bottom layer of the building and then stack it however many times you want. So say you want a 25 story skyscraper, all you have to do is build the bottom layer and then select it with your wand and then run the command slash slash stack 25 up and then world edit will take care of the rest for you. So it's super useful for making skyscrapers and I used it for almost every single one. I did get a little lazy towards the end however and just started copying and pasting in a bunch of skyscrapers I had already built. But anyway I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of this build completely uninterrupted by my annoying voice. So there is the map Kaleidoscope from Battlefield 2042 in Minecraft. And before I get yelled at by a bunch of people, here is some b-roll for you guys to enjoy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that map build as much as I did. I know it's not perfect, but with the limited resources I had at my disposal, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. But this map is absolutely massive. I have to have my game set to a 25 chunk render distance in order to sit at the middle of the map and see from one end to the other. And I'm pretty sure the default render distance for Minecraft is 10 chunks, which means I have to set it to more than double the default render distance in order to see the entire map. And on top of that, this recreation is somewhere around half scale to three quarters scale, which means these new Battlefield maps are going to be absolutely massive, and I'm so excited for it. So let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below, both on my map build and on Battlefield 2046, because I'm really curious to see your guys' opinions on this new Battlefield game. I personally am super excited for it because we have not seen a Battlefield like this since Battlefield 4, and I really enjoyed Battlefield 4. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this build so if you haven't already make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below and of course if you guys want to interact with me or my community outside of youtube then make sure to join my discord server link down in the description but anyway as always don't forget to keep building